delivered to combat! The kingdom needs your help. Hmm. All right. Well, I've already switched, unfortunately. Um, but I'll, I'll definitely do that. I've been looking for the most powerful sword for a long time, and now I know where to find it. According to that high elf guy, I gotta do a trial to get my hands on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. See you at trial aisle. The most powerful sword. The Elven Elder has learned of the location of Terry's treasure, the most powerful sword in creation. Only those who pass a particular trial may obtain the blade. Take Terry to Trial Isle to run the re requisite gauntlet. I assume this is where Terry learns a lesson. Hey, you! Thanks for tagging along, but this is where we part company. What? What? You can wait. You can't go in there alone. You'll get yourself killed. Yes. Did the elder not stress this was that this was a truly perilous trial? Come, Terry, let us join you. My strategies may give you the. <sighs> All your strategies are going to give me is a headache. Now let me do this on my own. It's my sword, so I've got to go in there and get it. Whatever happens, stay out here, okay? You'll only get in my way. <sighs> hey, Terry, come back. He can't be serious about this, can he? I fear there is little we can do to stop him. We must simply wait and pray for his safety. Hmm. Terry has been gone a long time. Longer than Trout has any right to take. Hey. Then he must be in trouble. I don't care what he said. We've got to go after him. Come on, let's go and speak to Gragwart. What do you want? Oh, look who it is. What do you lot want? Yes. Gragwart? Our companion entered a trial some hours ago and has yet to return. Please, what has become of him? <sighs> that little blonde feller? He's not out yet. If he's taken that long, chances are he never will be. What? What? What do you mean? Yeah? I tried talking him out of it. Told him he didn't stand a chance on his own. But would he listen? Honestly, there's no telling some people. What? Oh no, please, you have to let us go in after him. We've got to get him out of there. You are? Let you in after him? Don't be daft. No one's allowed into a trial after it started. Them's the rules. Yes. Please, Gregward, Terry is our friend and ally. We cannot simply abandon him to his fate. Ugh. Yeah, there's no way we're leaving him to die. Let us in there. Ugh. Well, all right. But the minute you go in, he forfeits the trial, okay? I'll not have anyone saying I've gotten soft in me old age. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, Gregward. This is a test. Like, should I just like sit here for like five minutes or something, and then Terry comes out? I'm assuming it's not a test. Well, let's do it. You'll need to be in top form if you want to get out of this trial in one piece. Good luck in there. Gah, can't believe I'm letting you do this. I must be going soft in me old age. All right, hurry up and find your little friend. Bring him back here and I'll take us back to trial aisle. We shall. I pray that Terry has not come to harm. Me too. Come on, there's no time to waste. Let's find him and get the heck out of here. Uh, damn it! I think I'm out of luck here. That was Terry's voice! He must be somewhere up ahead! Uh, it sounds like he really needs our help. There's no way through! This is surely the work of those monsters. Let's just put them to the sword and clear the way. The way ahead is clear. Come, we must hasten to Terry's side. No, I like, meant to hit the jump button, but I guess I must not have hit it in time. Come on, zombie. No! <laughs> Ow, fiend. Yeah, there is a chest over there, which I do want to get. Fall down there, help Terry out. 
This way I can do this unencumbered. I really expected a mimic. What are you doing here? I thought I told you to butt out. What do you think we're doing? We've been gone for hours. I'm just taking my time, is all. Now get out of here or I'll fail the damn trial. Terry, look at you. The courage is admirable, but you are in no fit state to fight on. The trial is lost, but you may yet learn an important lesson. The value of a tactical retreat. <sighs> Fine. But don't think I'm about to start making a habit of this. Come on! Follow us, Terry! We're gonna get you out of here! Yeah, yeah, I'm right behind you. Understood. is the boss of the trial, the keeper of the most powerful sword in creation. But trust me, you don't stand a chance. You do well to keep your friend here out of its way. Or keep it out of his way. Listen carefully. This is how we must proceed. The two of us must attract its attention and draw it away from the exit. Once the way is clear, Terry will be free to make his escape. So you stick your necks on the line and I run away like a metal slime? Well, all right then. Seek out other quarry. We have drawn him to a safe distance. Terry, you must make good your escape. Got it. See you on the other side.
been driven back. We must make our escape. Saw their every move. You took your time. Right, much as I'd love to give you the dressing down you deserve right now, this isn't the place to be doing it. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah? Do you get it now? This trial's nothing to sniff at, young man. You're having a laugh if you think you can handle it on your own. <laughs> you're lucky to have mates like these, you know. Bring them along next time or you're not coming in, understand? Oh, and you failed, as if I need to tell you that. Come back when you've grown a brain. <sighs> hey, Terry! Oh, for goodness sake, he's gone off on his own again. Hmm. Terry! Commiserations, Terry. I am sorry that your trial came to such an unfortunate end. <sighs> Come to preach at me too, huh? Fine, I was dumb, I get it. Not at all, dear boy. I merely wish to share with you a tale. A story of Lucius and Aurora when they were yet young. Lucius was always something of a firebrand and seemed to believe there was no problem that could not be solved by main force. Ever devoted to his young friend Aurora, he would train with his wooden sword for hours at a time, ready to protect her from ghouls and boogeymen. But one day, while he was busy training in the courtyard, Aurora, who had been left to her own devices, fell down the castle steps and was badly hurt. Lucius could not forgive himself for failing to protect his friend, though what protection he could have offered I know not. Still, from that day forth, he was a different boy. He began to plan every action down to the smallest detail in the hope that he might spare Aurora and all those he held dear from the dangers of the world. You're trying to tell me that's what the strategies are all about? Keeping his friends out of trouble? I thought it was just because he didn't believe he had what it takes. So, he used to be like me, huh? Perhaps a little. I know not what made you the man you are today, Terry. But although on the surface you are as night and day, deep within, your heart and Lucius's beat to the same rhythm. Take the trial again, young friend, but go not alone. Find in others that which you do not find in yourself and cherish it. On such exchanges are lifelong friendships built. Is this going to be a metaphorical sword or something? Because I just bought him one. Take care. Terry. Hey, thanks. Huh. Hey, you. Yes. Sure, why not? Hello there. Some post came for you. First your mate tries to get himself killed, then you two go jumping into the trial halfway through. If my old master knew what a pig's breakfast you've been making of my trials, he'd be turning in his grave. Think you can get hold of the most powerful sword in creation with a half-baked effort like that? You're having a laugh! Didn't exactly go with a bang last time, did it? Unless you count the ones your mate took to the nut. <laughs> what? I've switched things around a bit this time. But don't get getting ideas. It's just as tough as it was before. Come down to the trial aisle if you want to try your luck. I just hope you learned your lesson. In this case, nut probably means noggin. Retrial and Retribution Gragwort has agreed to let the team try again, provided they work in partnership. Join forces to fell the unconquerable custodian of the strongest sword in creation, so Terry can take hold of it at last. Yeah? Well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. What are you and you've got Mr. Super Swordsman with you and all, eh? Here to have another crack at the trial, are you? Yeah. You bet. But this time, I'm taking these guys with me. We're gonna wipe the floor with that sword keeper, just you wait and see. 
<laughs> oh, oh, finally learned your lesson, have you? I reckon you might just stand a chance then. Alright, let's get this party started. One trial for the most powerful sword in creation, coming up. Yeah. This one's as tough as they come, but the rules are dead simple. All you've got to do is get rid of all the monsters by hook or by crook. But as you know all too well already, it's not going to be as easy as just walloping ten bells of heck out of them. <laughs> Go charging in like a mad thing, and the only thing you'll earn yourself is a right royal hiding. Use your head, and you might just get your hands on that sword. Yeah. Anyway, get yourself sorted out, and give me a shout when you're ready to take the plunge. You'll need to be on top form if you want to get out of this trial in one piece. Good luck in there. Alright, sorry I'm back. Alright, let's go over the rules of this little test once again, just to be double clear. Doesn't matter how you do it, but one way or another, you've got to clear out every last monster. One way or another. Something tells me this will be no mere test of strength. We must be prepared to adapt our approach at any moment. Fine, but I'm leaving the plan making to you. I'm only good with problems I can chop my way out of. The supposedly unbeatable sword keeper. It's unbeatable, but we have to beat it. Sounds like we're gonna need some kind of a miracle. Terminator! Terminator! <laughs> but what? It's like some horrible riddle. Fear not, friends, for I have a plan. We simply need to lure the creature to a certain location. Wait, isn't that the same plan as last time? <laughs> How are we gonna beat him doing that? By leading him to his doom. Trust in me, and we shall not fail again. There is a place here where magma bursts from the earth. This is where we will lay our trap. You mean we're gonna lure him to Lava Town? You know, that just might be crazy enough to work. So the trials say we have to beat all the monsters, right? Let's start by doing that. Here goes nothing! <laughs> 
I'm wondering if I can just push him by locking it up. Doesn't look like it. up ahead. You must maintain your composure for a little longer yet. Hey, who do you think you're talking to? I could do this all day. Lightning's 
storm! Maintain our focus for one last push. I was born focused. You just better pray that your big plan works. Mm, listen to you two. If I didn't know better, I'd swear you were starting to like each other. Hot and bothered. Bam! Okay, I'll admit it. It wasn't a bad plan. Now, do I finally get to take a swing at him or what? Bam! Bam! Of course. Who but the greatest swordsman could defeat the keeper of the greatest sword? <laughs> Are we done already? How about somebody gives me a real challenge? Oh, you've actually gone and flipping well done it. I'd take me hat off to you if I had one. It's not every day you see someone make it through a trial like that in one piece. <laughs> it was nothing. We eat clowns like that for breakfast. So you gonna hand over the sword or what? Yeah. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. That's already taken care of. I've shipped it over that flying castle of yours, the cumulero bus or whatever you call it. You can look forward to having a look when you get home. It might not be quite what you're expecting, mine, but I reckon you've got what it takes to get the best out of it. Make sure you can take good care of it now. <laughs> the kingdom needs your help. Aurora requires the most powerful sword in creation. Hmm, are you sure this is the right sword? Yes. I believe so. What? But it's just a hunk of rust. How can this be the most powerful sword in all creation? Ha, huh. ah, what a waste of time. Hmm. Ah, well, you win some, you lose some. Guess at least I finally got to see what those strategies of yours are for, Lucius. Later. Hmm. Poor Terry. He spent so long looking for it, he must be so disappointed. Hmm. hmm. A rusted sword, and Gregward said we had what it takes to get the best out of it. Now. Aurora, would you speak to Terry and have him meet me here? I believe I may have an idea. Come. Good day, I have a request for you. Would you be able to use the file of light to sharpen the sword? Yeah. Which sword? You ain't talking about that rusty old thing, are you? That ain't a sword, it's a lump of sword-shaped rust, mate. Still, I reckon I could give it a go. Come back in a bit, and I'll have it ready for ya. A little bit here, a little bit there, and done! Blimey, would you look at that! The most powerful sword in creation transforms into the Stardust Sword. Here, Captain, what do you reckon? Who'd have thunk there was a beauty like this lurking under all that rust? Thank you. Now this looks more like the most powerful sword in all creation. Thank you, good sir. Hey, hey Lucius, I brought Terry back for you. Hey, you. What is it? If it's about that sword, you can throw it in the trash for all I care. Here, a gift. <laughs> Holy... This sword, it's... No, it can't be. Yes. It can, and it is. The rest of the sword from the trial. I had the armor polish it with the file of light, and as you can see, it does indeed seem to be the sword you have been searching for. Well, well. 
Well, I'll be. I've never seen a blade quite like it. Outside of my dreams, at least. But I can't take this. If I'd had my way, it'd be in the garbage by now. It's yours, Lucius. You deserve it. No, Terry. It would be wasted on me. After all, only the greatest swordsman can draw out the full power of the greatest sword. And if my strategies are to succeed, I shall have need of that power. Jeez, you're a real piece of work, you know that? Anyway, if you're sure you don't need it, I'll take it off your hands. Thanks. And I hate to say it, but I was wrong. Your strategies can be pretty damned useful. <laughs> but don't tell anybody I said so. Can anybody else equip it? Hold on, let me just go to inventory, equipment. This cosmic cleaver could cut a star clean in two. Details, only Terry. That's lame. Like, obviously I would have Terry wield it, but still, he sh anybody else should be- Like, Lucius should still be able to equip it. Otherwise, they should say, No, Terry, unfortunately I cannot equip this due to reasons unknown. It shall be yours. <laughs> Did you get the sword I sent you? It's a bit rough around the edges, but polish it up with the file light and it'll be good as new in no time. That's not just any sword you've got yourself there, you know. It's a Stardust sword. But I'm sure you've figured that out already. Thanks for finding the file light for me. You've made my old granddad very happy. I wanted to give you something in return, so I asked Eleanor to make a new outfit for you. It's pretty smart, even if I do say so myself. You've been sent a parcel containing Terry's alternative costume. See you later. All right, he looks a lot less like Link this way, so I'm, I think <laughs> this is going to be his costume. Doesn't match his gloves or his sword too well, though. Alright, this next quest, the kingdom needs your help. it might be a, even though this is Elena, I wonder if it's really a Sorrow quest, because I have, I have every outfit for everybody but Sorrow. See, everybody looks a little different. Hmm. And the reason I mention it is because Sorrow was kind of the tournament boss, in a way. Like, he was expected to be a big bad guy in the, in the tournament. Can I afford anything yet? No, not yet. Well, maybe if I might be able to buy a hero spear if I sell a couple gold or what, some of these bars here. I need just like one, right? At long last, it is my pleasure to declare the Grand Tournament of Colosseum officially open. Come one, come all, test your mettle against hordes of ravening monsters, and win fame and fortune in the fighting pit. My citizens await Miss Unlina's inaugurable appearance with feverish anticipation. Take care.
Colosea Cup. The Grand Tournament of Colosea is open for entries with prodigious, pro prodigious prizes on offer for any fighter formidable enough to emerge victorious. Accompany Elena to the arena as she pits her mitts against the monsters. Do you hear? Cheering cacophonies of multitudinous spectators! Heady call of arena, ah, such joy! It's time at last for tournament to commence! I shall not to rest until first prize is mine! Indeed, Sir Abda, and I, Kuro, shall rest neither. I give all for your victory. But please, I implore you to not place yourself at undue peril, or something unfortunate to occur to you, I... Ugh, please, Kuro, to refrain from fighting like old man. Meaning a failure is unknown to your Sir Abda. Only glory awaits. That's the spirit of Lena. Right then, let's get to it, shall we? Here's to a stunning win.
I comprehend. Pot kind of blends in with the background. I was looking for it.
figured someone was healing somebody because uh, the lion was fully healed or near it. Yahoo! Victory is mine! Sensation of success is premium beyond even my wildest imaginings! To see Serevna at center of such adulation once more is I... I forgive me! <laughs> I... So our champions stand before us at last. Congratulations on a well-deserved victory. It has been many a year since such finesse was shown in our arena. It is a pleasure indeed to watch you fight. <laughs> Thank you, kind mayor. I would dearly enjoy to see your own style of battle. Perhaps next time you too will enter. <laughs> How can I refuse the invitation of our latest champion? Very well, next time it is. I look forward to competing with you. I have sent your prize on ahead to the Stone Cloud. I pray that it meets with your approval. Well 
Elena's original costume. So she gets leggings. Is that all? Is that the only change? I think the stars. Yeah, the rim changes a little bit on her on her uh, hat. Um, her boots are quite, aren't quite as nifty looking. Um, she doesn't have the trim on her cape and her dress as well. I think her cape's a little longer. Oh yeah, and I did equip her with her glass slippers just for, for the heck of it. I didn't know what I was expecting, so I brought the prayer ring as well. Hello there. See you later. And with that, I believe I've completed all of the side quests up until now. See, there's not, no new quest to take. I have no quest to complete. And I have no ongoing, or I have no active quests uh, at this moment. So, next time we play... We'll be continuing the story. Let's go ahead and spend our points. Fifty-one, forty-nine. Okay, once Sorrow gets up to fifty, I should get that achievement because everybody else is really close to it. So what else is there? No active quests. We take our records and see. I've completed eighty-six percent of side quests. So, for example, um, there's a twelve here. Might be improving on perfection five. I'm missing a hundred here. I have almost all of the ingredients as well. Let's see what else is there to uh, demonstrate. I do have quite a stack of ingredients, so I'll probably, if I have the time, I'm going to maybe create some accessories and get myself up back up to speed. I may not have the time because I'm going to be try. this is a Saturday right now, Saturday afternoon, and I'm going to 
try to get it all edited, rendered, and uploaded before Monday morning so that I can perhaps record that day. My family will be gone on Martin Luther King Day, um, but I have the day off. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching Trend Wins, Dragon Quest Heroes, The World Trees Woe, and The Blight Below. I'll see you next time.